How many of you know it's nothing but the blood of Jesus? Well, the Word tells us that without the uh, shedding of blood, there can be no remission of sins. There can be no forgiveness. But Christ went willingly to the cross. Amen. Amen. Out of his love for the Father and his love for us. Amen. We now have our scripture lesson. First Peter chapter one, verses three through nine. And we rise. Peter chapter 1 verses 3 through 9 to be read by our deacon in training Rosalind Andrews Amen. and it reads blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, preserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time, wherein ye greatly rejoice Though now for a season, if need be, ye are, in, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. That the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might it be found, might, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Whom having not seen, ye love in whom thou now ye see him not, ye believing, ye rejoice with joy, unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. You may be seated. We now have the ministry of music by our sanctuary choir. Following them will be a prayer of contrition. Thank you. 
Let us bow our head in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. All of the anointing of the Spirit of God fall fresh on us, Lord God, tonight. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, Spirit of the living God, fall on us tonight, Lord God. Lord God, melt us tonight. Make us tonight. Lord God, break us. Lord God, heal us, Lord God. Seal us where we need sealing, Lord God. Lord God, we come to you in submission, Lord God. Lord God, we bow down to you, Lord God. Lord God, we lift up holy hands to you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, as we go through this season, Lord God, let us see the blood. Lord God, we thank you for the work, Lord God, of the crucifixion. Lord God, we thank you for the work of the resurrection, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for the work of the ascension, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord God, let us see the nails in your hands, Lord God. Let us see the crown of thorns on your head, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Let us see the nails in your feet, Lord God. Let us see the blood come streaming down, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you that we know tonight that it was the blood. Lord God, we thank you that it was the blood, Lord God. Lord God, your word says when I see the blood. Lord, we thank you that when you see the blood. Lord God, you said that you would pass over us, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for the blood, Lord God. Wash us with your blood. Lord God, we need a blood bath tonight, Lord. Lord God, with what we see in the newspapers and what we see on television. Lord God, wash us with your blood, Lord God. Lord God, wash us and we shall be clean. Wash our hands what we touch, Lord God. Wash our eyes what we see. Wash our feet where we go. Wash our minds what we think. Wash our hearts what we feel. Wash us, Lord God. Lord God, we need blood. Lord God, we need a blood bath tonight. Lord God, Lord God, give us a blood bath, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we come to this fountain so rich and so sweet, and we prostrate ourselves at the Savior's feet. Lord God, let us plunge into your blood. Lord God, that we would come out. Let us be made complete, Lord God. Glory to your name tonight, Lord God. We thank you that our sins have been nailed to the cross, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you that you became that which separated us from you, Lord God, and you opened a channel between us and God. Thank you, hallelujah. Lord God, thank you. You are a way maker. You are a high tower. You are a strong tower. Lord God, you the Lord of our stronghold. Lord God, cover us tonight with your spirit. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, as we come before you, Lord, keep our minds, Lord God. Forgive us for our sins, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. These and all blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Reverend Somerville. Amen. Before our ministry of music will come, from the Macedonia Baptist Church Choir, I just wanted to take a moment to, it's really not an introduction, our Lenten lecturer tonight is Reverend Dr. Darren Morton, pastor of Macedonia Baptist Church in Mount Vernon. We all know him. And we all know Macedonia. We have worshiped together many times. And we are sisters and brothers in Christ. Amen. And so uh, after the singing from Macedonia, the next uh, lecturing, preaching, teaching voice will be that of uh, Reverend Morton, a brother in Christ, which is the most important thing, that we are uh, sons and daughters of the King. Amen. So I'm excited to hear what God has to say to us tonight through him. So 
Let us hear him after the musical selection from Macedonia. Amen. Amen.
that he is excellent. And there he is an old fault in God. That he is our excellent God. That all things that he does, he does with perfection. And that includes creating each of us. And so we are without um, any need of anything other than what God has in store for us. Amen? Amen. 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 First of all, I want to give honor to God who continuously and miraculously and selfishly um, saved me um, from myself. Uh, I thank him every day because uh, it has not been for him. Uh, I might be somewhere else. Somewhere. Um, doing something else, thinking I was somebody. Um, but what I do know is that I am only somebody in Christ. And I know that He is able to do all things. I give Him all of the glory and honor because I am um, because of Him. And then, of course, in the absence of um, a great pastor and preacher and teacher, um, uh, that uh, serves as the shepherd of this house here and, and this branch of Zion, that of the um, uh, Reverend Dr. Alan Paul Wheeler Jr. We thank God for him. Amen. Amen. And in his absence, we are going to um, carry on and do as he would expect us to do. Um, because I don't want none of y'all going back telling him that I did something that I had no business. Um, I, I'll tell you a little secret though. I'm a little at ease that he ain't here. Uh, every time I had a preach and he in the house, I got to ask the Lord why. I uh, need to let him stay home. But today, the Lord is a little bit on my side. Amen. But uh, we are grateful for him um, and all that he does, um, not only here in your shell, um, but uh, what he does across the world. And I literally mean across the world. We went to South Africa, went to Malawi, and found out that he got some touchings out there. Oh, wow. so he can't get away from Dr. Weaver. Yeah. Uh, but he is a great man in God. And then, of course, um, of, um, of course, to a uh, co pastor here, um, uh, uh, Reverend Alan Paul Weaver III. We thank God for him. Amen. And, um, mighty work that he is doing as well. Right? And it's uh, true when they say the devil don't fall far from the truth. Right? We thank God for that. And uh, of course uh, to our ministers that are here on the rosters, um, we thank God for them. We thank God for Reverend Somerville who is our, um, the sergeant of the Macedon. <laughs> she makes sure everything's right every day. Uh, and uh, of course uh, we have Minister uh, Norman Martin, who is here, our ministerial staff. Oh, come on, let's give our choir a round of applause. <laughs> coming on out. Uh, we thank God for them. Uh, we thank God for them coming on out and being here, and they are under the capable uh, direction of our own sister Jasmine Glover yeah. Smoke. Amen. <laughs> all of our officers and friends of both uh, Macedonia and uh, Bethesda, I greet you um, this evening and of course to all of you saints and even you ain'ts. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening now. I um, think I covered everybody. Amen. 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 So as I told them over at Grace this morning, this uh, afternoon, I'll tell you the very same thing. Dr. Dixon taught me that when you're right, you come somewhere, get up there, do it, and sit down. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to sing, I'm not going to do no acrobats, I'm not going to do nothing, nothing, nothing extra. I'm just going to come here and try to stand in the gap and give you the word as God has given it, uh, given it to me. If you would just turn with me for a few moments um, to, um, there are actually two portions of scripture for today. One is in Matthew, um, Matthew, um, the um, 26th chapter, um, Matthew, the 26th chapter, but I also want you to put your finger on uh, James, the first chapter. So Matthew, the 26th 
um, chapter and then put your finger on um, James the first um, chapter as well. Amen? Amen. Amen. And um, Matthew um, reads as follows. Um, it says um, that, and he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, this is verse 39, I'm sorry, and saying, Oh, my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, as I will, but thy will, not as I will, but thy will be done. And then in James, the first chapter, the second verse, and fourth to the second and fourth verse, it says this, my brother, count it all joy. Yeah. When you fall into divers temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. The words of the Lord are blessed for the people of God. Thanks be to God. I would that you would consider with me um, for just a few moments um, as we go through, traverse through this thing called life, um, that we consider this notion. There's joy in trials. There's joy in trials. Now I know that some of you are, um, our first thought is, I don't know about you, but some of these trials that I had, there was no joy in it. But I promise you that if you think back really on what it is that you've been through and how you've been through it, that you'll recognize that in the midst of that process that something did happen. You'll recognize that somewhere along the road that there was something that changed, there was something that developed, there was something that grew inside of you, that when you think about it, that when you came through it, you might not have thought as you, was, as you were going through it, that there was anything of benefit as a part of it. Hmm. But then once you kind of got through it, and when you look back on it, I'm sure that there are some things that you say, you know, there's something that I did not know about myself, that now I know. Hmm. There was, I believe that I could not make it, but guess what? God sustained me and allowed me to make it through. Amen. Now, I know that it wasn't easy, and I know that uh, you didn't like everything that came as a part of it, but I promise you that if God did not do it, that you would be destroyed. In fact, if you really want to know, just call one of those witnesses from the Old Testament. His name is Joseph. He will say to you that, yes, you know that they called me out of my name. He would tell you that, yes, they thought different of me. And yes, he said, you know, they were jealous of me. And you know, they thought that they could put me aside, cast me aside. They even thought about killing me. He says, but it had, if it had not been for the grace of God, I would have been dead. Mm. But because of the grace of God, I got placed in a pit. Uh -huh. But see, what they didn't know is that the pit that they were making, the grave that they were digging for me, was not a grave at all. Mm. But in fact, it was a trampoline. It was a springboard. It was for me to bounce up and to bounce back. Uh, how many of you had pits made for you that you had bounced back out of? How many of you had graves that they thought was graves for you, but the reality of it is, it just was a resting place. Mm -hmm. It was a time for you just to be still mm -hmm. and know that he is God. Amen. I promise you, if you, ask, if you ask Joseph, Joseph will tell you that yes, he stayed there in that pit, but then, you know, the reality is that God found a way for him to be taken out. Mm -hmm. And if he was taken out, he wasn't taken out and put into a place of palace. He was taken out, first of all, that he might actually be a slave. But actually what happened is, is that God again used that as a springboard. 
the springboard that he would find his rightful place, that somebody would see something in him that others could not see. Hmm. That those that were closest to him, now I don't want you to misunderstand me, because the reality of it is, is that his haters were not strangers. Hmm. Hmm. I hear you. The ones who plotted against him were not foreign to him. In fact, I want to let you know they were his own brothers. They were his family members. And I, I want to stop by to tell you that sometimes those that closest to you don't mean you no good. Hmm. Those closest to you don't even know who you are. But I promise you that if you stay right there with God, that, they, that God will allow them one day to see exactly how wonderfully you have been made. Amen. Amen. Because God is a God that says to us that, listen, don't worry about those trials and tribulations. It's, it's just a seasonal thing. Don't you worry about it. I, I promise you, if you really ask Joseph, Joseph will tell you uh, that there, I already knew. In fact, I had already envisioned. I had told them, but they didn't want to listen. Hmm. You know how it is. Sometimes you tell folks ahead of time what you know God has told you about you and about them, and they just don't want to believe it. But the reality is, is that if God said it, you can believe it. Amen. Uh, God said that it was what it's going to be, then that's what it was going to be. And you don't have to make no fanfare about it. You don't have to get a billboard about it. You don't even have to do a Snapchat about it. You don't have to do a Facebook post. You don't have to look for no likes for nobody. In fact, you got the best life, the most eternal life that you could ever have in Jesus the Christ. But we're going to go through some trials. And you're going to go through some tribulations. Here in these two portions of scripture, we find, first of all, that Jesus himself is talking in Matthew. And he's talking in Matthew. He's having a conversation with God as he fell 